Are you swimming? Those rocks are probably hot. Oh god. So, we have six days to pack up every single thing in our house and get out and into our new house, which is exciting, but also terrifying. I think me and Hayes can handle it ourselves. We'll see, I mean, we'll figure it out and hopefully get all the big stuff in one day. But yeah, six days left until we gotta be out and the house isn't like completely done yet. So that should be an interesting process. There's a lot that needs to happen. The cat house has to be built. The cat's gotta move with us. Everything has got to basically be uprooted. The last time we moved, gosh, we were children. Should we just roll the tape? Let's roll the tape. You know what? Come on. I'm not excited to move. To box and stuff. Moving in's great, moving out sucks. And there's too much shit. Back and boom! That's the hardest thing to pack here. The hardest like the thing worst to pack. stuff yet for your move. The hardest thing so far to pack. Nice catch. Has been all of it. It all sucks. Shoes, because like there's no good way to pack shoes. Are you gonna have a yard? Yes. A back. That's nice. That's better than a front. Is it? Yeah, front yards are just just for appearances, you know. See, that's what I thought, but if you go to Jamaica. Whoa. Yeah, these aren't ready though. This one might be, maybe. Are you gonna make some key lime pie? No. Taylor hears people lifting things and goes, it's time to shower. <laughs> I just got jammed so hard. That sucks that if one of us are walking, on the stairs or down that hallway that we have to watch out. Do you want to get some sick slow mo shots of you lifting things? <laughs> of course. Sick. And cue montage. Happy seven months to you. Happy seven months to you. Thank God I buzzed my hair when I did because there's just no way to get a haircut right now. I'm sure y'all all feel that pain. Now, Malachi, you don't need, you don't really have hair yet, do you? We're still working on it. One side has a lot more hair than the other side, though. Which side is it? It's this side. You can't really tell, but we we can tell. And yeah, I don't know, I read this it's thing. This thing, I think. No, it's definitely not. Seven months old today. And it's really nuts, because I know. <clears throat> definitely the quickest seven months of my life. Oh, God. <laughs> He's getting very strong. Um, I know for a fact we'll watch this when he's seven years old and be like, what the hell happened? Both sad and awesome at the same time. Are you happy, easy mama? Are we in focal range? Are we in focal range? Are we in focal range? We're fucked up? We're crispy? You look crisp? We're not blur blur? Focused? Mau Mau went on his very first car wash, went on, and I'm acting like it's a theme park ride. He went in a car wash for the very first time the other day, and it was quite the sight to see. <laughs> this 
Not even the slightest what was going on. I think he definitely was scared for his life at one point. But but you enjoyed it at one point, didn't you? Maybe. Who knows? We are leaving the house. I birthed my child. In. <laughs> So we're going in the dungeon, and we're gonna breakers on. We're gonna find the breaker to turn our appliances on. Right here, found it. Kitchen lights. So they need to be reset. The breakers do. All right, basement lights, plugs. Let's go off with. Oh, you don't need the kitchen lights. Oven right here. This looks like this is where you'd go to like die or like bury somebody in here. This is like the beginning of a horror movie. This could be cool. What's down here? Bro, what? There's two other rooms in here. You won't go in there. No, I won't. You're absolutely right. You're in. Just go in. Get in. Why? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> We're just painting some stuff and making sure we got everything in the aesthetic correctly. Even the cat house has got to be done up the right way. <clears throat> just had the opposite of a voice crack. Mama, are you helping daddy? I think you would. So Hamilton, how's moving going? Our house is full of bugs. None of our appliances are on. Our hot water doesn't work. Our pipes have a problem. We can't figure out any of our GFI outlets or circuit boards. We think we need an electrician for that. Right on cue. We haven't really been able to Film anything. Yep, because we have a seven month old child and. And if you've ever tried to move with a child, it's not easy. I apologize in advance for what I look like right now. I've been working all day. We have lived, this is our second night in the house. None of the house is baby proofed yet, so that's been a challenge. And yeah, it's good. there's a constant smell of like paint and like, you know, sawdust going throughout the house. So we gotta make sure that we're in or we're out and. 
We own this. We kind of have like one foot in this house and one foot in the other house, and it's just a pain in the ass. Ultimately, though, we're super happy with our house, and yeah, it's just going to take some time. About the a month. And thankful to even have the opportunity and the ability to have a home. So even though we are going through all these <laughs> crazy moments. Hurdles. Um, they're going to be good memories one day. Yeah, in, I'd say in about a month, we'll be pretty dialed in here. And then in a year, we'll have the house and property to a place that we actually want it. And then we'll probably do a house tour around then. So yeah, sorry guys, no house tour till then. No way. What do you mean no you way? You can't wait a whole year. It's, you guys have no clue how much needs to be done. There's, yeah, I'll come to my channel, I'll give you a house tour. Yeah, if you want a bummed out house tour, go check Taylor's channel, but I'm not giving y'all a tour until we are, we've at least lived here for a couple months. We don't even know how things function yet. We haven't even stayed upstairs yet. We've got so much work to do. I can't, I can't over say that. It's fun though. I think he's registering it. So we are finishing packing up the old house. We got a couple boxes left. We got a lot of emotional attachment to the house. I've been here for three years. That's pretty much longer than any place I've lived since I moved to LA. We're waiting to move the cats. We built them a little cat house at the new place. They hate the car and everything about that. I have no idea how we're gonna do that. It's okay, guys, it's okay. It's okay, guys. We're going to a new house. I promise it'll be fine. We're on the edge of a nature reserve, so it's pretty much just like wilderness at the new house. There are mountain lions, there are bobcats, there are coyotes, there's black bear. There's been a ton of black bear sightings in our neighborhood. I found rattlesnake skin, there's a lot of stuff. So the cat house is gonna keep the cats safe from those predators. But there's also some smaller predators that play a vital role in the food chain that we have to keep safe from the cats. So Kubrick, as you know, hunts lizards. There's pretty big bird migrations that go through our property there's one happening right now Kubrick who's the main hunter cat in the family has never killed a bird or brought back a bird his main thing he's tried to hunt has been lizards he had one altercation with a baby squirrel but something that's been brought to my attention that you know I knew little about was that there are so many domesticated cats that kind of have this like half broken hunting ability and they do disrupt natural food chains. We already have these cats and we're, we love them. We're emotionally attached to them so I can't get rid of them. So the cat house is kind of our way of compensating for everything and trying to keep you know the, the natural ecosystem preserved and safe. We're gonna do our absolute best to keep, it's mainly just Kubrick. The other cats are not gonna be hunting at all. They've never even tried but we're gonna try our best to keep him you know from basically trying to hunt. But I think the cat house solves that problem. All of these are like the best things ever to put in like salads or on anything really. <laughs> Smell like garlic. I should have cut these leaves more. There's too many shoots. Need to wash right here. We don't really have a big bulb. Also, that's not that's not what you should plant garlic in. This was a while ago, guys. Don't hate on me. Look how teeny this one is. You like garlic, bud? 
Okay, we are four or five days into living in the house. I think four nights, five days. This is the day five. And we had our gas on for a, a night. It was on for one night. And then today we have a leak in the pipe. Someone hit the gas line with their car and it cracked the gas pipe. We literally had it on for about eight hours. Taylor took the only warm shower. I'm still taking cold showers. The water works, so like, yeah, I mean, it's really got me rethinking if we even need to pay the gas, but obviously, you know, you want to use an oven and a stove, but. You know, hot water, is it really necessary? I can't do cold showers. I, like, like I said, I took a few and no, not for me. Anyway, we have to excavate like five feet around this little gas line thingy. Another thing, this gas line is 600, 700 feet away from our house. We've got our plumber here helping us out. We have no clue. I have no clue what I'm doing, so I'm just helping them dig, but we're five days into living in this house. We've owned the house since December. We've been working on it since then, but the fact that, you know, we're five months in basically to being homeowners and there is this much work to do, it looks like we're going to be working on this place for the next few years. It's starting to start to come together. So yeah, that's exciting. And ultimately it just, it does feel good to have a place to call home, no matter how janky or messed up it is. So I'm still feeling very blessed and Smiling through all the pain, but yeah, it's crazy out here right now. I spent pretty much all day yesterday digging a trail, raking, pruning, all that stuff. We have a lot of oak trees on the property, so there's a lot of poison oak on the property. Is and that why there's poison oak? What? Because of oak trees? Yes. Really? Yeah. Where did you, where did you figure this out? Just observing. And... So you don't know it's a fact? Uh, what's a fact? <laughs> you don't know that? So you, you just like hypothesize that? <laughs> that is what is happening on this property. But like, <laughs> really? <laughs> so yeah, I was in a full sweatsuit yesterday, gloves and everything. It was 90 something degrees and the sun. Oh my gosh, I was getting cooked. I got probably 80% of the poison oak off the property. I mean, it's all off the immediate property, but some of the trails that's still kind of littered on the sides here and there. Ooh, I caught it. Good catch. Three leaf structures is what you gotta watch out for. So we're gonna take a little hike up and check for any remaining, you know, leaves or things like that. There's a few I have that are, I'm not even sure if it's poison oak or not. Taylor has this app that identifies plants, so we're gonna take it up and take some pictures and see if it'll identify as poison oak or not. But yeah, if you have came in contact with poison oak or poison ivy before, you know that it is no joke. Yeah, you get it and it just spreads like wildfire. You got this itchy rash all over you, so no fun. Definitely something to be careful with. Well, damn, it's literally all over this place. Some of it was sumac, which is completely harmless. <laughs> so, now what? That one's just as bad, apparently. The sumac, and that one's everywhere as well. Apparently it's a relative to... Poison ivy. Poison ivy, which is great. So I learned that four out of five people are allergic to poison oak, so the next time we come out here, we have to be extra cautious, especially with our wee child we have. Um, he's mostly up high, so I think he's okay, but I did see that it can have a mist that could give you an allergy. So we're just gonna put him back in my womb where he's the same. <laughs> I'm gonna get you! <laughs> so, we just got our dishwasher to work. Oh, we had so many problems. Rats, 
lizards, giant spiders, poison oak. the wiring jobs are terrible, the gas line, all the appliances just got turned on. We're still waiting on our washer and dryer, which hot water, who knows her? My arm. <laughs> I've gotten so used to bathing in this sink. I just take a rag and some soap and it's called a bird bath. Our sun growing up right in front of our eyes while we try to do this all alone. Every single person that comes here tries to rip us off because we're young. So the last, the final appliances, the final boss and challenge in this house is the washer and dryer. We have more dirty clothes than clean clothes right now. The hot water heater has been replaced. The hot water now works everywhere. I just got it to work in the kitchen. Yeah, it's that's been fun. It's been a great learning experience. If anyone is thinking about becoming a homeowner, just don't. No, I'm kidding. It's been fun. If you do it with enthusiasm and enjoy it, it's like making your own food. You're gonna enjoy the food better if you spend some time and effort on it. So enjoy the food better. You're gonna like the food more if you make it yourself, so. That's what we're doing. We haven't even made it outside yet. I mean, I have started doing the trail stuff, but like there's a whole outdoor kitchen that needs help and doesn't really work. Our pool's going good though now, which is surprising that that got done so early. Some things are much further along than others, but it is what it is. And yeah, like I said, we're just enjoying it and trying to attack it full speed. I'm not an electrician, I'm not a plumber. I have no experience with gas, yet I have been hands-on with all of these things. And yeah, most of the time it's through FaceTime or someone will come over and we'll keep our distance and they'll wear a mask and gloves. And yeah, it's just, uh, it's an interesting time to move and try to do all this, especially when you've never ever done it before, but it's important to know and learn about your house. Don't even get me started on the electrical job here in this house. I, underneath the house doesn't even make sense to me. There's just wires all over the place. All of our stuff is still in boxes and bags, clothes, toiletries, all the above. We don't really have time to unpack because one of us has to watch Malachi at all times. It's definitely taking a toll on the workload, but like I said, it's the whole food thing. It'll be better, you know, that we did it ourselves in the long run. But yeah, a lot of it's just been so stressful and hectic that I haven't had a chance to, you know, film it. We're gonna try to film some more of the, you know, craziness for you guys, but yeah. For now, we gotta get our dryer hooked up because we don't have one. Bless you. Yeah. Our house has so much echo, it's insane. When Malachi cries or when someone sneezes or whatever it is, you can hear a pin drop from all over the house. Malachi has been looking at everyone that comes in the house crazy, because and me included, when we wear masks, he just has no clue what's going on. He just goes up to me and tries to yank them off. This is a, a family channel, man. I feel like all communication the past two months has gotten so expressive in the eyes because everyone's face is covered up, so it's a very- Have you ever smiled at somebody while you were wearing your mask? No, like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you, <laughs> communication has gone to the eyes uh, since we've been in quarantine, or since masks have been a thing, really. I got our dishwasher to work, finally. Our dryer's been hooked up. All the appliances are officially hooked up. We've just got to change the light fixtures, do some drywall, touch up all the finishes in all the bathrooms, caulk everything, and clean everything and then move all of our stuff in. And I'm talking kitchen appliances, not the big ones, but all of these. Toiletries and clothes and obviously the furniture we do have and all of our little knickknacks. I've got two separate garages that need to be cleaned out. This one and the one at the old house are both full of stuff. There's a long way to go inside still, but we've been here for about a week now. Waking up here is awesome. And ultimately, we are so lucky and so blessed to even have a place that we can call home. I'm gonna try my best to pick up the camera and put down the tools more, even though that's what I really need to be doing. Everyone's been super busy. Not only that, but it's, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so no one's trying to be around anybody, so. It's certainly been a challenge trying to move in and move out with a seven month old glued to you who is just like he's learning how to climb stairs he's running all over the place sticking his fingers in outlets and you know there's still unfinished you know work and tools and nails and stuff everywhere so a little facial hair update this is the extent of my growth that i can produce so yes i'm still a teeny bopper for any of those asking my brother had a full beard in seventh grade. I'm 22 years old and I don't have How is it me, Malachi? You look Malachi, I know, I look crazy. <laughs> Quarantine has gotten the best of me. You look...
I was enjoying it for about a month. Now I'm going insane, okay? This <laughs> sucks. Your thumbnail should be going. <laughs> you look like a mad scientist. I've decided to stop pursuing all cinematic goals I had and go back to selling my soul and becoming a TikToker. TikTok is a lot of work. People actually make some amazing TikToks. Creative TikToks yes. and get half the recognition of people that throw that ass back. Am I gonna damn that? That's why he needs a damn high chair. Well, guess what? What? We ain't got one. Yeah. I, I ordered one from Ikea because it's only like 20 bucks. From Ikea. Guess, Ikea. guess the wait time on my order. A month. Yes. A month, yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess the Japanese sweet potato. Butternut scotch. Squash. Butternut scotch. <laughs> we make sure to give them a nice heavy dose of alcohol just to mellow them out throughout the day. In the last uh, video, I don't know if you noticed, but we actually have a pretty YouTube-y thumbnail. And it was our first one and it helped our click-through rate a lot. So while I will never fall into the trap of clickbaiting anyone, it's definitely, it definitely pays off to do that and I should probably do that more. Either way, y'all let me know. I'm never gonna open up Photoshop and create a thumbnail like that. I like pulling actual frames from the video and, and you know, get, it gives you a little hint of you know what's going on. But yeah, I need to be a little more clickbaity. Sorry guys, I need the views to go up, so. <laughs> Like literally though, like what the f <laughs>